Hello YouTube, Dugannut here. Today I'm going to do an uh, unboxing and uh, overview of a new scope that I received. As you can see it's a Burris and it is a Burris full field 2, 2-7 two power with a 35mm objective lens diameter and has the ballistic plex reticle and it's in uh, matte black. You can also see the item number there in case you guys are interested and same stuff on the other side of the box. So I've already had it open but you know I put it back in the box because I'm not ready to mount it on a rifle yet. I got the scope with the plans to uh, put it on my AK, DDI AK, to use for some just accuracy evaluation on the AK. Not sure if I'll leave it on there. Also in the box you will find uh, as you would expect an owner's manual or user guide here from Burris. Basic information on the scope. How to, how to use it, and you know how to mount it, things like that. The other things they include, which is interesting, they include a, a guide here on the ballistic plex reticle, and talk about some bullet, they have a bullet drop table there for various cartridges. Of course, 7.62x39 is not in the chart. And in addition to the chart there, they also have what I'm thinking is uh, stickers, if you wanted, if one of these was useful for you because of the loads that you were using, you could actually affix these one of these stickers to your rifle, the one that corresponds with the load that you're using. So that's kind of a neat added bonus, although I'm not sure if I'll be using any of the pre-configured uh, drop charts, but you can see how they're set up. That's what you'll get in the box in addition to the scope, but as I mentioned, no scope covers. Here you can see the... Uh, scope itself and you can see the uh, focus ring here so it's an easy to adjust focus ring. I've already adjusted it so I'm not going to move it around. The magnification of the scope so I had it at 2. I'm just going to leave it at that but you can see obviously it goes up to 7. You can see the covers here for the adjustments. Go ahead and take that off just give you a little bit of detail there on the adjustment ring. It's quarter inch, I believe, adjustment. I don't remember for sure if it's quarter inch or quarter minute of angle. I don't know if you can turn it by hand or not. Oh, you can. That's nice. So you don't have to use the, the coin or the screwdriver. And then the, the, you know, the, in, the elevation is going to be the same, so I'm not going to bother that. You can see the Burris name there. Underneath you can see the... Um, where it's made, so obviously this is an inexpensive scope, so it's not made in the US, it's made in the Philippines. Uh, again, you can see the range of the scope, or the type of scope, 2 to 7 power by 35 millimeter, and then a serial number, I assume. So we're going to go ahead and try to show you a shot of the reticle, and then we'll also get a, a weight on it. Okay, just giving you a quick glimpse of the reticle here. It's a little blurry, I apologize for that camera maybe isn't the same as my eye as far as the uh, focus you can see there is I'm not sure if it's entirely clear you can see that there is a ballistic plex in the middle and uh, heavy crosshair is on the outside so um, nice uh, basic reticle with a little bit of uh, you know, ability to go out the distance and use the, uh, the ballistic plex dots so there's a little shot of the reticle Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get a, uh, a weight on the scope. So I'm hoping to not add a whole lot of weight to my AK with this. So you can't see the decimal there, but that's 12.1 ounces. So just a tad, or 12.05, so just a tad over 12 ounces. So not too bad for scope. And we'll just wrap up here by uh, talking a little bit about price. Uh, this scope runs for around 160, I think, 160 to 170. All in, I think with tax, I played about paid about 172. Uh, I also, as I mentioned, it does not come with scope covers, so I picked up some cheap Butler Creek scope covers that I'll use flip ups. One might be a little tight, and then I also picked up a set of the Burris uh, Z rings, one inch Z rings, which will go on my UTG Pro mount on the AK. I uh, was able to pick up these items uh, thanks to Dirt Road. Dirt Road. Uh, had a uh, 500 subscriber contest. I think it was 500 subs. I 
posted a, a video response to his um, contest, and I fortunately won. So Dirt Road, uh, shout out to you. Thanks for the Amazon uh, gift card. I was able to get these scope covers, these rings, and also pay part of uh, money towards a set of Bluetooth headphones I picked up. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and this, you know, just brief unboxing and overview of the Burris Full Field 2 2-7 to power scope. If you have any questions about it, just uh, post in the comments below. I do plan on uh, a video talking more about performance when once I get on the gun and just see how the clarity is and, and things like that. So again, I thank you guys for watching. If you do like the videos, please uh, like and subscribe, and you guys be safe.